So what do we have here? Your boy So Stylistic is in the kitchen cooking up something. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. What's going on everybody? It's your boy So Stylistic and I'm back with another video. So my voice sounds a little deep today because I've been under the weather for the past three weeks. It's this change of weather here in the south. I'm loving it. It's finally uh, feels like winter, but just being sick is not my forte. But before we get into this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, thumbs this video up, and hit the ring of notifications so you'll know every time your boy go live or uploads a new video i'm trying to get better at uploading i'm trying to upload every week at the beginning of the week i don't want to really put a date out there because i have so many videos that i have to upload and then just try to get them all together um but yeah your boy's trying to do better i'm trying to give you all the content that you want um i know y'all probably sick of doing seeing the silk presses but hey everybody don't know how to do a silk press so those are the videos that I've been posting up the most um, because it is, uh, as we call it, um, Silk Timber. <laughs> um, everybody wants to get a press out um, when it starts to become cool outside. And I think uh, for me, what I tell my clients, in my opinion, it is better for you to do it um, in the winter months. That way you don't have to put so much heat on your hair. Your style will last without you sweating it out. So I get a lot of my natural clients that come in during the holidays. They get their silk presses, um, you know, so they can change it up, something good. And then I don't suggest my clients wetting their hair um, in the winter. You know, some people can do it and never get sick, but then there's just some that do it. And then the air is a lot drier here. So you just have to, you got to know your elements and you got to know what you're working with. However, I want to get into this video because I've been doing color. It is also color season. Now, I know many of you said that, you know, well, color is year round and it shouldn't have a season to it. Um, and I definitely agree. I do color all year long, but I get most of my colors around the holidays and around springtime. Holidays, I love actually to really do color around the holidays because I find that most of my clients are around their family, their friends, they're going to office parties, they're going to, you know, different different events that they're having going on at the church. And so that's a good way to market and pull in more clientele. So for those of you out there that are not doing color, um, and especially around the holidays, and you want to pull in and you love doing color and you want to pull that clientele in do some color on your clients around the holidays i promise you you will get many referrals and you know the best advertisement is walking advertisement and word of mouth and i get a lot of my clients um through the holiday season so yeah so i have been doing a lot of color and this was one of the colors that i did on this beautiful young lady she's so sweet her mom actually they follow me on here on youtube so if y'all are watching this video shout out to y'all i love y'all so much they were so sweet to me because i was sick around this time where well, i started getting sick around this time and they were absolutely amazing to have so i want to talk a little bit about what we've already done to this young lady's hair as you can see imani uh, which is my assistant stylist and i call her my little sister i love her so much um I like to always say that I just like to give people their, you know, give their flowers while they're living and I absolutely adore her. But um, as you can see, Amani is now applying the blue. This young lady wanted to go for a blue and she had picture day the next day at school. And I, um, I'm very hesitant about teenagers, although she's had um, color before. I'm still hesitant about doing color so heavy on um, teenagers because I know teenagers are going to be teenagers and they're learning how to um, manipulate and do the hair. So um, I, we went through our consultation and I told her that I wanted to um, give her what she wanted, but at the same time, be able to um, not jeopardize her hair at all because she does wear her curls. Um, so we decided to do um, light foiling, but heavy foiling, if that makes sense. I went in and I um, did some back-to-back -back foils and just lifted her. Now my color process, actually, 
I use influence color and that's pretty much the main color that I use um, for all of it my semi-permanent demi-permanent and permanent colors and my lightener um, I will mix in pulp riot every now and then um, maybe a little bit of joy code because I like the way that their colors stick and they stay but influence does it for me um, so we decided to do this blue and this is the electric blue from um, influence now her lightning process what I did was because she had virgin hair all the color that she had previously was gone I went in with the influence lightener with the 8 volume developer and I also added some influence our uh, natural oil I added some natural oil to that just for it to be a buffer and add a little bit more um, moisture to the hair um, through the lifting process of the lightener now influences lightener is very gentle on the hair I had one client say I've never felt my hair feel soft after somebody's lightened me and so it has all the conditioning elements in it needed to keep the hair very soft but I wanted to make sure that I went in because I'm, I'm just old school I have my remedies and they work for me um, if you just want to just use the lightener then that's great but I have little tricks and stuff and everybody finds their tricks when they're in the trade um, so I used some of the natural oil I did maybe uh, three to four drops of natural oil over into the lightener and mix that up really well and she lifted you see how light she lifted um, to like a level eight nine so it was really really light um, when you're doing blue you really want to make sure that you get them towards the level nine um, to try to start to remove those gold tones out of there because if you have a lot of yellow in the hair if you put blue on there it will turn green we're doing a silk press on her. This young lady has a head full of hair, y'all. She got a lot of hair. Like when I tell you, she got a lot of hair. And it's beautiful. Um, it was healthy. She didn't need her ends trimmed because she hadn't had her ends trimmed in a while. So um, mama was all for it. She was all for me trimming her ends. And after I talked to the daughter and told her, you know, this is what we need to do to keep your hair healthy. Um, she was down for it. So you are going to go in and see me do. Um, actually, I did a layered cut. Um, so we did a little bit more than a trim because of what she needed and um, it absolutely turned out wonderful she she loved it but again you guys I just want to um, make sure that I encourage you all that if you're not doing color in the salon you're missing out on you're missing out on your blessing I'm just gonna say that because uh, it color blesses me I was infatuated with color when we were in beauty school um, I thought I wasn't gonna get it because it was just it, it was kind of complicated at first and I learned from working with my older stylist um, that I was in the salon with that really color is hands-on so if you don't um, quite understand it get you some people that don't mind you doing color on them my um, best friend Katrina as you know the one that you'll see at the end of this video and she's in a lot of my videos I have done every color on her that I could think of and now I'm just finding colors that go together because we've done every um, solid tone that we could do and she's just one that she's down for anything and um, she helped me get more confident with color so you absolutely need somebody like that that doesn't mind you know you changing them up and changing their color up and changing their style up so you can build your confidence and um i was confident just doing permanent colors and just um you know one colors but now it's all about color placement doing multiple colors um it's so much color is endless and you have find find a good color line like I said influence has a great color line I absolutely love it because it's so infused with things that we need for our hair like the semi um, not the semi the demi permanent and the permanent color which are the tubes that you could do um, both in you know in one tube uh, they're infused with macadamia oil and my clients absolutely love it and I'm every time I use it, I'm just like wow like really the shine that it gives um, the feel that it gives to the hair is just absolutely amazing. So find a color line that um, you love and carry that color line and, and learn that color line and then start to explore other color lines. I've used Matrix, I've used Pravana, I've used um, 
uh, what is it? I can't think of the other one. But I've used a lot. Oh, I was trained on Gold Well, which I thought was one of the hardest colors ever because when you're mixing, they go by milliliters. Um, but if you can master uh, color line, you can move on to other color lines. You just have to learn the undertones and the tones. and Because some color lines, they do a little more ashy tones. Um, in their colors so when you use their colors you see a lot of ash when you do it some colors their reds are very vibrant and so you just have to really play around get you a mannequin if if you can't find someone that doesn't want you experimenting on their head get your mannequin and get all shades of mannequin and make sure that those mannequins you're able to lift and deposit and and practice 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 makes perfect and the more that you do it, the better the, the better you get. Um, I, I I have to say, yeah, color was one of the things that I loved in school. But when I got out of school, I was kind of hesitant about it. So this is the end result as you can see she's been silked out and y'all can already tell just by me combing and her hair just wobbling to the side that she has the body y'all see that look at that body look at that, bo look at that blue I know people are gonna be like, why is she squinting? She's like me, she can't see without her glasses. So, I, it, I ain't gonna even get on these people on um, on YouTube, some of these people that be trolling and stuff. But <laughs> yeah, that's why she's squinting. You can't, she can't see without her glasses. And I do the same thing when I'm at the bar, but my bar be talking to me, I'll be like, can you have my glasses so I can hear you? <laughs> that's crazy, right? I got another client that's like this. Like, I can't. I think because we're reading their lips too, as well. I don't know what it is. But yeah, y'all look at this body. Like, this was the calm down afterwards. And she was asking me, you know, could she wear it um, on the side? So I kind of um, flat ironed it where it wasn't like a definite part. But if she wanted to move it from side to side, she could. And I was just like so feeling. I love, love, love her hair. I love it. So I know somebody's like, why is this comb down so long? Because I just love looking at the comb down. Like, and especially when you do a silk press and a silk wrap. We did do the saran wrap. She did do the dryer for about 10 minutes um, with the saran wrap. And I'm trying to figure out what flat iron did I use. I think I used my EAP heat and I used one of my H2 Pro flat irons. To achieve this look but y'all see that look at that color look at that bounce that body I love it and it's it's not too much but it's just enough and that's 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 key and as I'm combing I'm I'm talking to her but now I'm talking to her about, you know, switching up the sides. If she want to do a part, um, she can. If she want to just wear it back, 
um, without the part being evident and just let it fall she can because it's been cut that way um, and I'm also talking about the importance of taking care of her hair because she does love color she does love getting color done so you have to talk to your clients find those moments where you can talk to them about you know their hair and taking care of it they when I tell you clients respect that so much but yeah, I'm going to be quiet. I've talked this whole video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please. <laughs> Thumbs this video up for me. Share it. Share this video across social platforms. I'm okay with it. And hit the ring of notifications so you know every time your boy goes live or uploads a video. I love you guys. Be blessed.